What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Looking damn small today. In between two behemoths <laughs> here, Jinder Mahal, Drew McIntyre, WWE superstars. Guys, uh, uh, Jinder's been in here before. Not yeah, gonna work yeah. out. Right? But today we're actually gonna get a little bit after, a little bit more. Yep, yep. A little more of a, of a, of a back workout. I'm taking both through. I'm gonna try to give you guys some tips along the way. Mm -hmm. Even some of the more familiar exercises, I think guys sometimes screw them up. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. And I, yeah. and I think there's always more to be had. You can sort of squeeze that that lemon just a little bit more and get a little bit more out of every exercise. I'm gonna hopefully do that with you guys today and those guys watching. Absolutely. And I hear when it comes to weight, sometimes less is more. Well, so, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna that's just to, my excuse. For well, the thing is, honestly, these, these guys, <laughs> these guys are. You know, there's nobody that has a harder schedule than these athletes right here. You know, I, 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 as a guy who, who worked in Major League Baseball, I could tell you it was a pretty grueling schedule, 162 games in about 180 days, and I didn't play. All I did was just work it, and it was hard for me. But you guys are on the road, how many, how many days, 200 something? Yeah, 200, year round, no off season. Right, there's no off season. So, <laughs> honestly, sometimes it is, what you do in this weight room yeah. does have to be come into consideration. You can't just come in here and try to set PRs every time that you're in the weight room, thinking that you're then gonna go out and be able to perform. You gotta be able to figure out a way to mix them both. Yeah. So actually dropping down the weight and get a little bit more, more out of what you do yep. is gonna go a long way for you guys. Exactly. So let's go knock this one out. You need to be able to get far enough over yeah. you know, to be able to work the back. So you guys are both tall. Yeah. So that means your hips are gonna have to go back. The taller you are, yeah. the more you gotta sit. Yeah. I don't have to sit nearly as far back. I, I could be right here and I'm already bent over. Yeah. You know? You got a lot more torso that's got to get out of the way so that you're leaning over, so you're lifting this up. One of the things is hip hinge, right? Yeah. And one of the things about this exercise that's kind of cool, if you were to do it in a drop set, you know, just to sort of go through failure, all you have to change is the angle of your body. So if I want to be here, right, I could be straight over in this way here, like that, right? And I'm pulling the weight basically straight up against gravity, yeah. which is going to be the hardest. Yeah. Right? So let's say I get to the point where I'm fatigued, yeah. but I want to do a little bit more. I just come a little bit more upright. Yeah. So now, as I'm pulling in, I'm not really going straight against gravity anymore. I'm coming more at that angle. Yeah. So I cut a little bit of that out. Drew actually had a little bit more of a movement like where he comes a little bit more in. Try, uh, Drew, when you do this one, sit, because you're, you even have a longer torso than Jinder, so sit way back. So if you can, the bar is right up, almost like a deadlift, right up against your shins. Now just stand up a little bit more. Stand, drop the hips a little bit, and give me four more. Go back, yep, now pull from there, the same, there you go. See, you, when you cut the angle, you can still keep going. Yeah. Right? So it's a good way to drop set and just push through. Yeah. Is, there, is there anything to it? Why do you go? Why? It, the, the more travel you're gonna have is when you have your arms narrower, because yeah. they're gonna be longer. If you do this, yeah. it's like doing, almost That's doing like a, like a uh, snatch grip, you know, uh, yep. that lifts so your arms are shorter, so you can't get as much pull. All right, so the big thing here, yeah. don't turn it into a tricep exercise, all right? So for, for you, and, and just feel how your shoulder feels, because that's, that's key here. Yep. But you wanna flare the elbows, so I kinda make that flare, yep. get this back, and now you're pulling here, right? So you move from there to there, feel it? Yeah. So it's out, and you're just shortening this distance from here to there. And so don't, I don't need to go too, too low? No, you can, yeah. if you go low, yeah. it's because open your chest up, so get to the bottom. Again, your shoulder, I always have a, an eye yeah. towards this, but yeah, you open the chest up, that drops it. This is your lat, like that's as far as your lats are going. Yeah. If you keep going lower, it's yeah. because you're bending your elbows more. Yeah. But that's as far as your lats are going. Get them a little, get your elbows a little straighter. A little bit like that, there you go. But that's it. Yeah. And you keep the tension on by stopping about here. Right? There you go. To there. Because if I let you come all the way up, come all the way to the top, yeah, it takes the there, there's off. no tension there anymore. Yeah. You know? So if you want to do it, you get it from here, down big stretch, to there. Out and down. And try to not let those elbows extend at all. And the more you drop your hips down here, the more of a stretch on the rib cage. Because the lats actually attach down to the pelvis here, and they attach up here at the arm. So if my hips are dropped, and my, and my arm is back here, yeah. that's as long as they can be. So you get like all that tension on your lats, mm -hmm. um, on every rep. Now go. Feel? You've run out of room. Yep. Yeah. Because you just stretch that out even more. 
See how, like he's long, yes. but the elbows aren't like they're not. He's not triceps aren't, aren't pulling this. It's all lats, a straight arm pullover. Yes. He stops it at the right angle. Yes. Hips are dropped down. His uh, arm position doesn't change. No, it's all right there. Yes. The, the, the biggest the biggest difference is that you then there's no extra stretch or separation from the pelvis oh, to the hips. Like how I feel it is a huge difference. <laughs> oh yeah, I just feel like a dumbass. Yeah. Seen Arnold doing it this way, I should have followed Arnold. <laughs> Here, it depends on really what you're trying to, to, to train. If you're trying yeah. to get more lats, you gotta stay upright more. Yeah. If you're trying to get a little bit more mid back, like a row, yeah. then you just you know recline back. Yeah. But the key is the chest should go out every time you pull back. Pull back. That's the main the main key. Yeah. As you pull back, the chest force it the other the other direction. Yeah. Now as you come down, open this, spread it. Feel that? Yeah. So it, it should come up as your arms are going back. There you go. Yeah. So as you go down, spread it open. Stick the chest out, up towards the sky. It's like opposite direction, there you go. Opposite directions. You're coming down, chest is going up. That level of like focused work, yeah. it makes a lighter weight heavier. Yeah. Like yeah. your body really truly doesn't know yeah. what that weight is, it never does. It's just, I didn't even look, it feels right. the same as you. <laughs> yeah. I can guarantee it's less. So you get in here this way. Yep. So you just lean and then you pull straight down. Okay? Yep. So you're going almost, it's almost like a pull down, yep. but you're going right in at that angle. So the cool thing about that is, if, as I'm asking about your shoulder, you're actually getting a, an overhead movement here, yep. right? Without having to have your arms overhead. Yeah, so yeah. if you ever get in a position where it's hard, it hurts to get your arms up overhead just because they're sore from whatever, yeah. you just change your body position in space as opposed to your arms and you're able to do the same movement. Yeah, but yeah. relative to your body, it's it's in line with your torso, which would be what would happen over there. Yeah. But it's not having to have your arm get up there because you're not vertical anymore, your body's this way. And, and honestly, at the, at the bottom of it, even though you're going straight up and down like a pull down, yeah. if you look at the position of your elbows, you go, they're back behind, it's a row, you know? Yeah. So it's another, another way to do a row. That's a good one, I like it. It's cool, right? Yeah, yeah. It's and, and it's hard for me, I don't know how much the load is, but like, yeah. if you have to load right, it's like, it, it gets tough. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So it goes straight down, elbows down towards your sides, like, yeah. Get them a little bit more flared out as you come down. So yeah, yeah, feel that? Yeah. Okay, and then we... One high, yep. just this way here, stride Str out. Pull back and squeeze, pull it nice and tight. And I can twist my body a little bit. Yeah. So, so this way here, you get the stretch, right? Yeah. That's all dropped down. You should feel a good squeeze in the knee. You can go lighter, and when you use some of these uh, you know, techniques where you actually really squeeze it, yeah. and feel it, like it, it makes the weight more effectively uh, heavier, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Even though it's not heavier than what you were using, yeah. it becomes effectively more heavier. Yeah. Less taxing on the joints. Yeah, it's it's definitely lighter yeah. on the joints, yeah. you know? Yeah. I actually think this is one of my favorite back exercises of all of them is just to go out here because you literally get the full stretch on your lat because your arm is coming out in front and up, which is really how you stretch the lat out, yep. you know, get it all the way there. And then you get this hip set all the way back. So you have that big long stretch. I'm again a believer, like especially if you're gonna drop the weight a little bit, the the range of motion should be as long as you can possibly make it so there's tension across the whole muscle. It's good to get a rotation because your body wants to rotate, yeah. but if you over rotate, then what happens is, because you want the arm behind the body. So let's yeah. say you, you, you weren't doing this, but a couple times you came close. Yeah. If you were doing it and then you just kept rotating, yeah. it right. doesn't That's really bad. change in getting back behind the body. Oh. So as long as it gets back behind, if you were to rotate, then it's okay, okay. right? Okay. But if you do it this way and you stop yeah. and then you rotate, you think it's going back, yeah. but in relation to here, it's still at the side as opposed to behind it. So you just, all you think about is hands and knees. Where are the hands in relation to the knees? If the hands are below the knees, it's pushing through the legs. Once they get to the level of the knees, everything comes forward. So if I'm here, again, you're still getting that tight position here and here, like that, I push through, right? Yeah. Through, but then from here, push, drive through at that point. And then back, down, so we reverse it, then it goes, when you're at the top, hip, 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 hip. It's a hip hinge all the way to the knee. And then once it hits the knee, straight knee down. So you'll see when you do that, the bar should stay right up against your body the whole time. 
So it's track because if it's knees there, boom, and when he drives his hips through, he's meeting the bar on the way up. Yeah. For me, it simplifies the cues, like in terms of when do I, how much yeah. hips, how much knees, how much, let the bar tell you when you need yeah. to go. Because once the bar's at the knees, then it's good. And then the cool thing is like, your knee height is different than my knee height, but it works the same for yeah. both of us. You should be able to look down and not see, not see like the ties of your laces. Yeah. Because the bar should be, yeah. the bar, the bar should be covering it. So you can even be a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Even though your knees are coming out in front, the bar is still an inch or so away from your, yeah. your shins, which is good. So I just gotta. Yeah, yeah you'll get your hips yeah, back when you go down. Yep. Yeah, yep. And yeah. then that will be visible, but obviously you haven't changed the relationship between your shins. Yeah. So try that. Because he says it's almost impossible to move it when you start to get significant weight, to move it off the ground and break it from the ground if it's not in position over the middle of your foot. Yeah. Other yeah. Places. Otherwise, you just can't, you don't have the leverage to pull. It's like trying to do the, like the lift off on the bench press. Yeah. You can't get it off from yeah. behind you, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. spot. It's the same thing with, with this. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. There's a workout there with these two guys. Again, I'm, I, I don't feel that big, but I, uh, I'm comfortable in my own skin. I realize that not everybody's <laughs> supposed to be six foot five or six and be a, and be a giant. But the fact is, guys, you, everybody can be equalized by the weights. We can all be humbled by what we do in the weight room. And I think if we're doing it right, we will be. Because I think there's nobody should be in here trying to think they're better than, than, than the waist or that there's, that there's something that they can't learn. Yeah. I'm learning every single day. Every athlete that I work with, we're all learning and hopefully getting better, so. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to get down to the basics and build that solid foundation. Show us some great things like the technique with it. With, yeah, yeah, check your ego. Yeah, check your ego. Yeah, that's how I had to drop, yeah. <laughs> drop those weights and it felt way better to yeah, drop those weights. Yeah, with, with um, uh, deadlift and everything, it's, yeah. that's an awesome technique. And thank you for keeping your shirt on, by the way. Um, but honestly, I, 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 it'd be the only weapon I have if I took it off. All right, guys, so there you have it. If you're looking for a complete step-by-step -step program, guys, our Athlinex program is what that is. We actually take everybody, everything that we do with our athletes and we put it out there for you guys. It's available over at athlinex.com. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover. I'll do that for you guys in the days and weeks ahead. All right, see you soon.